Well, I guess we lost the video. We're in a section of the building here where it's not really good. We've tried it yesterday. But we're going to go to Larry, Larry A. We did something with the fenders. Can you get in here? Do you stay out here? Yeah. So this is part two. We've got two days of two parts. And we need to figure out our, yeah. our connectivity to the internet. We primed, I talked yesterday about prepping parts. This is the fender. I had said that there had been some work done. These were not spirit fenders. It, it looked like there was work done here. And, and Larry had let us know that the manufacturer actually did this and modified it to make it fit his body. So whatever the reasoning was, I left this one like this. I said yesterday, when you prep one, one of the main things is you do not want to have shiny spots. So you can kind of see that there's no shiny spots here. Everything's been sanded with 180. We've kind of went over it all. probably can't come in here, but... I can you, zoom in on it. Yeah, okay, you zoom in. What we've done, we've put primer on, on the other fenders, and we've got some other parts for it. So all this is going to get painted silver. The car is going to be painted blue. And uh, what's on there now, since the, the fenders are going to be painted silver, uh, there's several different color primers. <coughs> and in today's paint, when you, um, when you paint, there's some transparency through that paint. Uh, and it will, its color will be determined somewhat by the base that you have on there. If I, if I would have a, a white primer and paint it over that, or if I put a sealer, this will probably have a sealer on it. Um, if I have a gray sealer or a black sealer or whatever color sealer, that's going to kind of give a tone to what the, the final color is going to be because it is a bit transparent. So since this is going to be silver, we're going to put everything down here silver. We'll use a gray a sealer on top of this. But what we have on here right now is a, it's called a primer filler. So the goal of that is we just went over the entire thing, looked for any pinholes. Yesterday I talked about, you know, hitting it with the screwdriver to find out if there's any uh, voids underneath the gel and all that. We did all that. We looked at a couple places that needed a little bit of body work. Did that. We sanded it, got a little straighter. And, and you can probably see this primer's on shiny enough where you can see it's actually pretty straight. Um, on a curve like this, uh, and again, 40 years, I've been doing it 40 years, and here's a little story, I've been doing it long enough. Uh, when I started, I learned under a really good painter, and uh, he used a jitterbug. The DA just came into existence. It was a new tool in the body shop, and uh, the body man, or the painter was just he thought it was horrible because you could take the DA and you could, you know, you could ruin a car. You just, I had to use that jitterbug for him. And, uh, and you can, you can take a DA.